bad, really it is. I make one concession to Potter, and you all try and take advantage of me. But Morris, all I want... Yes, is I just know what a... you want, and I will not listen. No more talk about S-E-X, please. There's a time and a place for that sort of thing. Oh, I'll see you there at six o'clock, eh, Doris? <laughs> It's the thin end of the wedge. Why, even Mr. Smith is demanding heaven knows what. Oh, you reading the little red school book, Smithy? Hmm? He hardly demands, headmaster. Merely a request. But couched in the most aggressive terms. Now listen. In view of recent events, I hereby request that my classroom be cleaned more regularly than hitherto. You see? My God, real aggro. I'm surprised that you, Osborne. Well, it's hardly unreasonable if Potter is getting an assistant at last. Well, it depends what he's like. What's he like, Morris? I have no idea, Mr Fidget Brown. He has not yet arrived, but I'm sure that we can trust Potter. He would never accept anyone who was not right for the job. What are you talking about? He married Ruby, didn't he? <laughs> hey. That's right. Oh, Sydney Notes Council sent me. Oh, yes, of course. You've come about the. <laughs> Hi, George. Something wrong, man? No, 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 lad. It's just that you're not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> well, I mean, you're black. You're. You're in it. <laughs> I mean, you're young. Oh! Aren't you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're not a parent by any chance, are you? Nah, nah. Not unless I've uh, slipped up, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's cosy here, isn't it, eh? Oh, yes, well, you know... Oh, I say, lad, uh, you won't touch anything, will you? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, parquet vous on? Parquet vous? Oh, yeah, tough. Yes. Yeah. Very snug, isn't it, eh? Blimey! And two phones. Oh, yes, never stop ringing sometimes, you know. I can imagine. Yes, probably have to get a third, you know. Do you know that I can dial straight through to the continent these days? Go on. Oh, it's a fact, you know. Yes, they can hear my voice in France, Turkey, New York. Jamaica? Jamaica? Uh, uh, no, I couldn't have you running up bills on here, son. <laughs> One of your perks, eh? Ringing up your mates? No, 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 no. It's all part of the job. You see, folks, in my profession, lad, the whole world is my oyster. Aye, aye. Cool, blimey, you've been disconnected, Mr. Potter. <laughs> yeah, perhaps a governor tumbled, eh? <laughs> All them crafty calls. <laughs> they are not crafty calls. Oh, well, don't worry, Mr. P. I won't split on you. No. <clears throat> so you uh, want to be my uh, private personal assistant, do you? Oh, would well, a gaffer up the council said it was General Andy, man. Ah, oh, yes. Well, they always get it wrong, don't they? It's an Irish bloke up there, isn't it? Irish? Yes. Well, I mean, what does he know about it, eh? Absolutely nothing at all. Otherwise, he wouldn't have sent me a bloody walk. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I was saying... Uh, we just have a few questions here, son. Uh, name? Sidney Noakes. Uh, correct. Good start, that. <laughs> right, sex? Frequently. <laughs> I'll put nail there, lad. <clears throat> now, special uh, qualifications. Uh, university degree? What? Oh, well. Never mind, lad. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You won't believe this, you know. But neither have I. Oh, go on. Hmm? Oh, uh, same as you. Well, I mean, almost the same. <laughs> and never be ashamed of it, lad. Never be ashamed of it. Well, I mean, look at me. You see? I mean, it hasn't got in the way of my advancement, does it? Uh, oh, no. <laughs> see? Yeah. Now then, uh, <laughs> A levels? Uh, B levels? C, D, E. I'm a fully fledged witch doctor, if that's any help. <laughs> oh, I really? Yes, well, I'm not sure about that. You see, lad, in the teaching profession. Teaching profession? Look, I thought it was bog washing. <laughs> <laughs> Latrine lavage, if you don't mind. Sir. Thank you. Now, question 10. Uh, what is your performance like on the squeegee? Squeegee? What's that? So, a didgeridoo? Pardon? Didgeridoo. <laughs> Yes, I suppose you could say that. Yes. Well, then, I think I can give you a crash course from now. And remember this, Sydney. Any problems, and that door will always be open to you, day or night, except after school hours. There is uh, <clears throat> just one other question, lad. Are you, uh, <clears throat> are you really sure you want this job? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, then, I, uh, <clears throat> I suppose it's yours, lad. Well, I know. The gaffer up the council told me. <laughs> it's pathetic. It's ridiculous. It's lunatic. Cromwell is an old woman. Bloody marvellous. More, more, more. Yeah, all right, all right. Listen, nobody tells them anything about anything. Let alone about sex. Ah, that lot don't need telling. 
They have had more it than I've had school dinners. You know, there are times born at price when I simply do not understand you. Well, don't try. I don't want to be understood. I prefer to remain what Potter calls an anemone. I'm sure. Uh, come in, Sidney Field. Huh? Oh! <laughs> now, I expect you're wondering why I've come here today. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'll tell you. I've come in here to introduce to you my new personal private assistant, Mr. Sidney Noakes. Oh! Now, Mr. Noakes will be taking over certain minor duties. He looks like a minor at all. <laughs> <laughs> And I will expect you to give him the respect, you say, that you give me. Oh, we will! Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Brother mine, Sidney. Brother mine. Oh, you have to be a leader of men, you know, to handle those animals. Oh, smart work, Sidney. You spotted that right away, didn't you? Eh? <laughs> Did you know that is? Leaky red here, though. Yes, well, you'll learn that. <laughs> Hold on a minute, Mr. Park. Hmm? No, 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 you better leave that to me, lad. I mean, after all, you mustn't run before you can walk, must you? Yeah, that should hold it a bit. Yeah, till I can get to me tall bag. <laughs> oh, yes, I see. I'll just wipe that up, eh? Uh, yes, uh, wipe that up, Sydney, and then come into the start. <laughs> uh, hurry up, Sydney, please. I want you to meet some of my colleagues. Colleagues? Yes, all men are equal around the S, Ben Doris. <laughs> My new personal private assistant, Sydney. Oh, watch her. Watch her, Sydney. Now then, Mr. Gore, Mr. Price, Mr. Vichy Brown, and Mr. Smith here. How do you do, Sydney? Oh, uh, would you? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I say, did you see that, David? Oh, I did. It's an omen. A gift from the gods. Six months on Potter's waiting list. <laughs> and Sydney does it in six seconds. <laughs> Four? Uh, what? Oh, where? Dad, the tell him, Sydney. Oh, I uh, fix a doorknob, Mr. Potter. Oh, good lad. Good lad. Yes. <laughs> I gave him that job just five minutes ago, you know. Ah, oh, Kerrick and Confoner. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, never mind. Yes. Well, you see, in future I should be more concerned with admin rather than the actual... The actual work. Exactly, yes. Uh, no. See you, Sydney. Shut up. Oh, I'm going to train young Sydney up. You make him sound like a hollyhock. <laughs> I suppose this means you won't have time now for that lighter I asked you to mend. Well, of course I will, Mr Price. That comes under personal attention. You, know. hey, you weren't talking about that, were you, Mr Price? The flint was jammed, that's all. I don't believe it. Uh, yes, well, I, I said he could have a go, you see. I, uh, the flint's jammed, I expect, I said. <laughs> Didn't I, Sydney? Mm, I said, uh, yeah. mm? uh, Oh, yes, yes Mr Potter, yeah. yeah. Loyal, too, I see. But, Morris, all I want to say about sex education is that the path before us is simple. I mean, either the children receive the information here at school or at home. Very well, then. They can have it away. What? <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> yes. Parents have responsibilities, too. They must, should tackle the problem. Yeah, they should, but they don't. <laughs> Oh, Norman, how you started. <laughs> oh, sprouting your own, headmaster. Yeah. Well, um, uh, I'll go, shall I? Come back in the morning, conspicuous moment. No, 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 no. Mr. Fitchett Brown is just going. What? Thank you, David. Oh, sorry, but... oh dear me. I don't know. Third time this month. I beg your pardon? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm speaking loud, sir. Take no notice, sir. I do apologise. <laughs> I didn't really hear you. What did you say? Well, headmaster, uh, do you think I'm over in doing it? You see, my ruby does three times this month. <laughs> really, Norman, I don't think I'm the man to advise you on that. <laughs> Why don't you have a chat with Mr. Fitchett Brown? He knows all about these things. Eh? S E X. Sex? No! <laughs> uh, oh, well, you see, sir, it's, it's a sort of inner compulsion, you see, sir. I'm sorry, Norman, but I cannot undertake these, these medical matters. Yeah, well, I have to do it, you see, sir. I can't help myself. Well, you must try. <laughs> Plunge your arms in cold water. Yeah. Well, they fairly sparkle the first time, you see. 
But now the moment I see a speck of dust, well, there I am. At it again, you see. Norman, you mean the windows? The windows, sir? Yes. Ah. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. Of course, I could have got Sid to do it, you know, sir, but uh, I knew it had to be an A1 job, sir, which is why I have cleaned your windows three times this month, personally. <laughs> but I understand that Sidney is very efficient. Ah, well... Now, you put me in rather delicate position there, Ed Marston. Oh, really? Well, you see, I like to give the lad his head, you know, but, I mean, there have been occasions when, uh, well, I won't say that he's a troublemaker or lazy, you know, but on the other hand, he is. And Tom! Here, I... Oh, sorry. No, 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 come along in, come along in, Sidney. We were just talking about you. Oh. Won't ask you what you were saying, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Putting in a good word, Sidney. Yes, Mr. Potter was singing your praises. Oh, yes, yes, I'd be leaving calling a spade a spade. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix that for you, then. Oh, my little thing, it's mended. Yes, well, I hope you followed my instructions properly, Sidney. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll fix your car and all, sir. You what? Frabs you stay. Oh, Beamish boy. My word, Potter, you have trained him well. We soon, soon shan't be needing you at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha, ha, ha. It's a black militants, isn't it? He's one of those. Well, I suppose they have them all colours, don't they? He's in the same <laughs> car, Michael, he is. They're infiltrating themselves into all the key positions of power. And he's... after your job. You what? You're pulling my leg. Try saying Stokely Carmichael to him. Stokely Carmichael? Oh, all right, then, Stokely, well... <laughs> Ah, a little bit more over here, Sidney, a bit more over here, Tom. Hi. Come on, a bit over here, that's the way. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's doing a bit of a lot, you're doing a bit of a lot. Uh, Sidney. Yeah? Uh, Sidney. Hey? Eh? Sidney, what does the name Ian Carmichael mean to you? <laughs> Ian Carmichael? The actor fella, you mean? Uh, yes, him, yeah. Ah, yeah, he's all right. I like him, yeah. Ah, so you admit it, eh? Hmm? <laughs> I don't get you, Mr Potter. You stand for all those sort of things he stands for, eh? I mean, the, the, the overthrow of the, of the Uja and all that, eh? <laughs> Ian Carmichael? Mm. Well, I never knew that. Cool, you live and learn, eh? Like that Vanessa Redgrave? Uh, is she one, or not? <laughs> Oh, yeah, rebel and that, you know, like you said, thrown over to conventions. Yeah, but she's not black, is she? Who? Uh, Vanessa, what's her name? No, more sort of red, really. Red? Yeah, lovely red hair she's got. Oh, fancy her rotten. Bit on the tall side, though, you know. Yeah, but this Ian Carmichael bloke is. He's what? Tall? Oh, black. <laughs> Don't you think we've got our wires crossed somewhere, Mr. <laughs> Oi, Bush! Hello, Dave. Two dead barge, lift that beer. Oh, not another one. Hey, listen, you know you mended Morris's car last week? Yeah? Well, uh, and none of your black looks. <laughs> Shut up, Dave. You're embarrassing the governor. Oh, I'm sorry, Norman. Well, listen, I'm having a spot of trouble with my car. I ain't surprised the way you drive it, mate. Hmm? What is it? Too noisy? Uh, no. Not noisy enough. Oh, I get you. It's a Merc, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, nice job, though. It's all right. I'll fix it. Ah. Yeah, it's a bit of nice jobs, those MGs, David. <laughs> yeah, I spend some time out tinkering around with them, you know. Tappets was my speciality, you know. Oh, yeah. I've tinkered with Bontys, you know. What's <laughs> <laughs> over, then? Well, I dare say... Well, I... Oh, you yeah, <clears throat> Well, I dare say I could fit it in, David. Oh, not you, Norman. That, no offence, man, but I mean... Uh... Yeah, well, what do you mean? <laughs> but 
Uh, well, I don't know anything about cars either, Norman. I have an oily thumb, you know. Oh, yes, I've forgotten more about cars than some people ever learned, lad. <laughs> Sydney. Yeah, where is it, Dad? Well, it's out by the bike sheds. You can't miss it. There's a bird in it repairing her makeup, OK? Just kick her out if she's in the way. Cheers. Yep. Well, I'll see you, David. I'll overlook the job personally. Don't worry about it, son. Uh, having trouble? Eh? No, of course not. Well, I think before we have a look at David's car, you better let me help you with that, son. Come on, give us this. It's quite simple, you know. It's just simply cut and pull. You get the idea? Oh. Now then, you see? Now, I cut, you pull. Mm -hmm. Right, now when I say go, go. Are you ready? Go. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> And I am told that in flagrant disregard of my strict orders as regards S.E.X., you, um... I did what? Do you deny that yesterday you took your class to the cinema? No. No, I don't deny it. Well done, my boy. Spoken like a man. We'll say no more about it. I'm sure, Doris, he's learnt his lesson. Furthermore, the title of this entertainment was The Sins of Sexy Susan. <laughs> Doris, it wasn't. It was Romeo and Juliet. Well, we're doing the play, so the Zeffirelli film's an obvious plus. We're going to see The Sins of Sexy Susan tomorrow. What? Ah, uh, no, ex certificate, isn't it? Uh, it's a pity, you know, they'd have liked that. Hmm. Unlike the headmaster, I'm not altogether against sex education, but I find your attitude both flippant and unsuitable. I must absolutely insist mm, that... Mm, mm. What is it? What? What? Mm, that perfume, Doris. You are shameless. Just taking an unfair advantage. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Well, I must away. Thank you, Morris. Very helpful. Delilah. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is. Very nice. What do you call it? Being personal. <laughs> oh, Watson. Yes, face, Mr. Potter. Everything under control, huh? Yeah, I think so. Radiator trouble again, eh? Yeah, it's not circulating properly. Yeah, it's could be the water. Oh, yeah, could be. Yeah, it's not circulating properly. Yes. Anything else? Have you checked the uh, grommet ratio? The what? No, I thought not, you see. I thought <laughs> grommet ratio not checked, see. Well, so that, and I think we'd better leave, let this one go, you know. Uh, it's really a council job, lad. I'll tell you what, I'll get off the town hall. Hang on, hang on, I've finished. It's only blocked up, that's all. Oh, are you supervising Potter? Mm, oh, yes, just keeping an eye on young Sid, you know. Oh, yes. All his kids, you know, eh? Well, I've just been explaining to him this is really a job for a specialist, you know. I mean, even I, even I wouldn't tackle a job like that, you know. Oh, well, Sidney seems to be managing all right. After my diagnosis, yes. Yes, it's blocked, you see. Uh, here, Mr Potter. I was wrong, it's not blocked after all. Hang on, I'll see if I can reduce the pressure. Yes, well, see what it is. Sydney is now going to reduce the pressure, huh? So that the pressure is, um... Reduced? <laughs> well, look, son, you're not doing any good like that. Come on, get out of the way, let me do it for you, son. Ah, oh, then, it's quite simple. Give it a few turns, lad, and you're there, you see. Ah, oh, here we go. No, don't touch that. No, what? no, don't touch that. It's all right. <laughs> I shouldn't give Sidney too many helping hands, Potter. You're running a bit short of them. <laughs> but, Doris, it's not as though I was going on about this sex education thing just to be awkward. No, I know. I'll talk to him. What? You will? Next week sometime. I'll have to catch him at the right moment, of course. Do you know, Doris, like all real women, you're full of surprises. Doris, you're a little cracker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I'll go out and come in again. <laughs> Don't worry, your secret is safe with me, Miss York. <laughs> Mr. Fidget Brown and I were just, just having a bit of snap and tickle. <laughs> you two are impossible. <laughs> Here, I've done your bang, the Dave goes like a bomb now. Oh, great, Sid. Now, listen, uh, what can I do for you, eh? Anything I have is yours. Anything? Anything. Ah, well, almost anything. Anything, in fact, except money, my car, or the bird you just kicked out of it. Oh, well, that don't leave much, does it? Oh, knowing you, you'll think of something. Yeah. want your opinion, Dave. This is serious. Huh? See, it's, uh, it's old Potter. I don't want to hurt the old fella's feelings, you know, but this job's a doddle, you know. I like it cushy sometimes. Who don't? But, I mean, this is ridiculous. I go around making bloody work. Who? You mean uh, you want to quit? Yeah, I want out. But he's so touchy, you know what I mean? 
Look, I mean, if I go to him, Dave, and say, look, I don't want to stay, yeah. oh, he's going to take it dead personal, isn't he? Sidney, your consideration does you credit. Don't get sarky. No, but listen, if you just go to Norman and tell him man to man that you want to leave, I have a kind of sneaking suspicion that he won't put many obstacles in your way. You sure? Positive. <clears throat> yeah. Well, I'll go and tell him now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Then I can go and see the black and white minstrels tonight with a clear conscience. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know he's not a bad lad. I know he's not a bad lad, Ruby, but you see, for some strange reason, the staff seem to think he's more efficient than me. Well, well, I know he's got to go, but I can't give him the sack. I, no, li listen, listen, listen. I'm disempowered in that sphere, you see, dear. Hmm? Yes, well, I'll tell you what I'll do, but I'll try and persuade him, you see, that his future lies elsewhere. And I don't have to tell you, my little dove, how persuasive your mama can be. Well, uh, uh, oh, that'll be him, dear. I'll have to ring off now. <clears throat> in top. <laughs> oh, come in, sir. Yes, I expect you wonder why I sent for you, didn't you, lad, to dance, to dance, to dance. I wanted to have a word with you too, Mr Potter. See, it's about this other you job. You see, no, it's your future, lad. You see, a young lad like you, with me behind you, teaching you all I know... Well, you see, in... you could be in my shoes, lad, in 20, 25 years' time. 25 years? Yes, I mean it. You see, it's not that your work is exactly, you know, out of hand, but uh, there was that bit of trouble all the while, I said, you know, but we won't rake up the past. No, you see, put it this way, I said, perhaps you're sort of a square peg in a round hole, you see. Are you saying you want me to leave? I don't want you to leave, lad, no. <laughs> and I reckon your 25 years is a bit over the top, mate. I reckon I could step into your shoes a bit sooner than that, more like uh, 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Look, I stood up for you. I said he's got nothing to do with the income, Michael. I said I kept telling them that, you know. Yes, it's a nice little number, this, eh? <laughs> oh, yes. Dead cushy. So it's a pity in a way I've taken this other job. Sit. Look. Son, you see, you, you've got to take the long-term view. What? Ah, yeah. I start next week or next Monday. I told him I wouldn't let you down. Oh, I don't think you should waste time, lad. Not that I want you to go, you know. Oh, I can see that, yeah. Well, they was in a bit of hurry, so perhaps... Of course, go. exactly, yes. Well, I mean, you start next week if you want to, son, or Monday if you prefer, you know. I'll start now, if you like. Well, you're doing the right thing there, lad. Not that I want you to go, of course, you know, but I mean, you're a lad after my own heart, you see. Oh, yes, I mean, you must strike while the iron's wet. That's what I always say. <laughs> yes, well, goodbye to you then, son. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Ta-ra, Mr. Potter. Ta-ra, son. Take care. <laughs> Ta-ra. Ah, oh, Charles, that was a close shave. Ooh, like the one that missed me at Benghazi. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charles, they were whistling round that night. I know they were <laughs> Right, left and centre they were. Uh, hello? Oh, council officers. Uh, area supervisor, please. Uh, no, I don't. As a matter of fact, it's, uh, it's an Irish name. Uh, oh, something. Uh, oh, hang on, wait a minute, I believe I've got it here. Uh, yes, oh, Dinger. Yes. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Dinger? Oh, it's Potter here. Fence Street School. Yeah, well, it's about that uh, young assistant of mine, Noakes, has just left, you know. Uh, oh, no, no, it wasn't that he wasn't willing, you know, but uh, they're not the brightest people in the world, are they? <laughs> Well, I mean, you and I know that, Mr. Edinger, don't we, eh? <laughs> it's not that I've got anything against them, of course. But... You what? Do you? <laughs> Tanzania? <laughs> oh, no, I, I couldn't have told from the voice, Mr. Edinger, no. <laughs> Mr. Edinger, have you ever heard that uh, funny little old saying that uh, there's no one like a Tanzanian that can take a joke against himself, eh? <laughs> oh, well, be like that.